Hey, targeted individuals, saints, angels of the Most High, it is I, and we're about to fly. Um, today is the 21st of December, 2019. First off, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all your prayers. It really helped. Uh, Sister Karen is, is pulling through in the hospital, and uh she was in bad shape there, y'all. She was bleeding from her nose and a lot of other things. And um, the, the uh, doctor wasn't listening to her. I believe that because of y'all's prayers and because she's very connected with the Most High, that Father sent an angel to her in the form of a nurse. Uh, this is a testament on how we are protected by Father if we stay close to him. Sis Karen had said, uh, God has got this, and he did. She was complaining about headaches, and the doctor was brushing it off, saying it was a tension headache. She's like, no, I've had migraines. This is different. Something's wrong. Nobody would listen to her. Um, a nurse came in the room that she'd never seen before, and she's been there, I think, 10 days now, and she felt good vibes on this one nurse. Um, I guess not on any of the other ones. Nobody was listening or helping her. Right when the nurse was coming in, she started bleeding out of her nose. It was meant for that particular nurse to walk in at that time as the Most High planned it. And she ran out and uh, I guess told the doctors they switched her medication and she was better. We know that the doctors are working for Satan and his minions the medical, the medical field, but this just shows that even if, if you're a true believer in Jesus Christ of Nazareth and you are made to go into a hospital like she was, she was fully aware of the satanic agenda planned against her, Father will protect us, okay? And if he doesn't, then that is, our mission has been completed and we go up, we have no fear. And yes, the banging and slamming has started again. Focus factor, focus, focus, focus. Okay, so I appreciate y'all's prayers. She may be able to leave here in about three days. And I was shown three days on the 19th. Something I believe is going to happen tomorrow on the 22nd, which is 1222. Also, incidentally, that's how much my rent is. Yeah, it's high. Me oh my. But I'm just grateful I have a place to stay. It is all bills paid. And it did come with a bed. And if you're highly targeted like me, you're very limited to any kind of place that you can get. So I'm just grateful. I'm grateful. I want to say thank you to everybody that's been praying for me. I'm overcoming by the blood of the cross, by y'all's prayers, and by staying close to Jesus Christ in this battle. Sis Karen is battling the evils um, in her particular way, which is through the medical industry and her health. And though I'm getting attacked in my health as well as we all get attacked in every area, because of our mission and our purpose, we have specific attacks that are like, the, it's called the strong man. And mine is in my gang stalking attacks with the, uh, with the criminal gang stalkers, the satanic sellouts, the witchcraft, and uh, satanists that actually are banging and slamming right now directly below me surrounding me on all sides. Um, I'm being heavily attacked by military, being stalked by military, which I'll get in in another video when I come back because I'm trying to make this really quick. Uh, not even going to really focus on the targeting. I've got a white unmarked van also my window. It's been parked there about an hour as we speak. Again, no fear. The fa father's got this. Um, a lot of crazy stuff going on with the attacks. Overcoming again by the blood of the cross. And Father made it rain. I really truly believe because it hasn't rained here in so long. Maybe just like sprinkles of rain for 30 minutes. Sprinkles of crackle. Um, I believe that Father has allowed it to rain all day today. Thus, no jackhammers or jackhammering for once. I really needed to get some, some sleep. And I praise the Lord, I got almost six hours of sleep. Yes. So we're being refreshed and anointed by the Most High. We are uh, receiving our glorified bodies. If you're one of the 144K, you're probably noticing the change. Um, I'm at peace now. Um, 
even with the multiple attacks going on. Uh, and he's given us so many gifts. It's through the roof on the discernment that I'm being shown and the, the gift of prophecy that some of us have. We each have different gifts, but um, we're all called to help each other in this final hour. We all have a part of the puzzle if you have accepted Jesus. Okay, so now what I want to warn about is I have been being shown something going down in Philadelphia. Yes, Sis Karen is there. I thought it was for her. It, that could be part of it, but I believe it's also symbolizing the Church of Philadelphia is about to go up. They could be about to hit Philly, but something with Philadelphia is going to go down. It could possibly be tomorrow. Uh, something with New Jersey and D.C. Now I'm going to tell you all what I was shown. So uh, let's see. Just a second, because I want to say exactly what happened yesterday. I could, was not allowed to get online yesterday, and it was, a, it was a really ferocious attack the last few days. Again, thank y'all for your prayers. A couple of y'all also donated. I was in shock because I just said, well, donate to Sis Karen. She thanks y'all too. She said, wow, these subscribers are so awesome. That's our family. That is the difference of those that believe in Christ and those that believe in Satan. Satan's minions, these gang stalkers and these uh, Satanists and witches, Masons and corrupt sellout cops and military and all that. They won't help each other. They sell their own mother out. But we help each other. That is the body of Christ, and it's just such a blessing. Um, again, Pastor Bagley's out of the hospital. Again, y'all's prayers helped. Today is also his birthday. Prayers for Pastor Bagley. And um, today is also the uh, winter solstice. And it starts actually tonight. We have a new moon coming on the 21st, I mean the 25th, which is Christmas night. Tomorrow, well, it starts tonight, these witches and these Satanists that claim, oh, we're just all about peace and love. We go out and we, we, um, we worship the nature and the trees and things like that. Yeah, some of them might, but not most of them. Most of them are doing orgies tomorrow. And the 24th is a big heads up. They have demon rebels. They sacrifice people and animals. Yeah, they sure do. It's Christmas Eve. My mom's mother died on Christmas Eve and she found her. And my mom died on Thanksgiving Eve. Um, could they have been sacrifices? Maybe so. Maybe so. But the, we have no fear. If you know Jesus and you have the Holy Spirit, he gives us peace. And we're, we overcome by the blood of the cross, okay? But we can still be aware. We have to do our part, and that is spiritual warfare. Rebuke the enemy, and he will flee. This is a high alert. I warned you all that this is Satan's season. The winter months are Satan's season, and especially December. It is an evil, evil month. January 1st is also a satanic sacrifice day. Do these people ever take a break? No, they don't. They call on demons, and the demons are what give these witches and Satanists their power. But guess what? It, it, the, these demons are going to turn on them in the end. Bite them in their ace. It's okay. Um, they just installed two more new poles and another camera just within the last hour, y'all. And uh, they're doing something right now to my poor little dog. So please pray for our protection. How many freaking security cameras and police cameras and poles do you need? Uh, what are they? Like power poles on one block. It's concentrated on my block. This makes six poles now that have been installed since I've moved in here in three and a half months. Interestingly, interestingly enough, I've been here three and a half months. Could that be a sign of the three and a half years of the trip that I believe we're already in? Yes, it sure could. The Lord had me also notice the other day the grid of electrical wires that are all over this city here in New Orleans. Y'all go out and look. Anybody that's in like a, you know, a, a bigger city, this isn't huge, but not just a small town. I have never seen so many crossed wires everywhere, like completely surrounding, and they're right above our heads. I believe these are controlling a lot of these people. We are protected, just so you know. 
if you have the Holy Spirit, he protects us from all these things. You know, they do have directed energy weapons, which they've hit me in the eye, and I've come on and shown a lot of y'all my eye after it's been pricked. It feels like a pinprick, and then it turns completely red. But they can't take us out, okay? They might can do some little things, pinprick here and there, but they can't take us out as long as we stay close to the Lord. So you must accept Jesus in this final hour. So we have the solstice, the winter solstice, where the witches and Satanists come together. They sacrifice people and animals. High alert on the white vans, like the one far in, down by the river. Like the one that's outside my house right now with the man sitting in it for at least almost an hour now. Again, no fear. But just be aware because they uh, kidnap children, especially during this hour. Keep your pets and your kids around you. Make sure you know where they're at. Even in the grocery, okay? This is not to put fear, but we're to be aware of the enemy's tactics. You don't think they watch us and know what we're up to? Yeah, they do. That's what that's what the all-seeing eye is about. They get their power from technology and calling on demons. We get our knowledge from the Most High. We don't have to harm others, nor would we. Anybody that's a true believer in Christ, we wouldn't want to harm, harm them. That's the difference. We have joy. Anyway, they don't. So... I'll tell you what I was shown about Jazzy. Sis Karen, thank you, sister. She's the one I asked y'all to pray for. She, Her channel is called Karen Warrior Against the Darkness. And her old channel, a lot of y'all know her as uh, Sarah Forth Calling. Sarah was the name the Lord gave her. So long, but her name is Karen. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so yesterday it was 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon, and I asked Father if I'm supposed to remain in place or leave NOLA, New Orleans. Um, immediately, I was guided to look out the window. I saw a moving truck going towards the left. It went through the stop sign. On the side of the moving truck, I could only see the left side. It said, low decks, make your moving easier, moving. And I thought, okay, that means... Did I'm to leave, Father? I then, I wasn't sure. I didn't get confirmation on that yet. I then test, text, test. <laughs> yeah, we're in a test, aren't we? I text Sister Karen because she has a high gift of discernment of meanings of numbers and things like that. We all have different gifts. Like I can figure out dreams, but this particular thing, I didn't get revolution. Revolution. Wow. We are the revolution. We are the resistance, aren't we, y'all? Anyway, I didn't get a revelation of it immediately, but I knew she probably would because sometimes one of us will get a piece of the puzzle for the other one and vice versa. Not sometimes, a lot of the time. We're to help each other as the body of Christ. And I text her and I just said, what does low decks make your moving easier mean? And right after I text her that, she had not text back. The truck had circled back around the block. This was within about, I'm going to say 10 minutes. Uh, and I was led to go back to the window as it had circled around the block and had turned around. And it came down going past my window going to the right. So I was able to see the right side of the moving, vi moving van. I think it was a U-Haul, I'm pretty sure. And it, this was not on the license plate. This was in bold print with some sort of a scene on it. My camera would not work again on my phone, so I couldn't take a picture. All day yesterday, it was frozen. But it had two words, New Jersey. I think on the U-Hauls, um, they have where they're rented from on them, like painted on the side. So that's probably where it came from. But I knew I was meant to see that New Jersey. As I looked out, Perfectly, I saw New Jersey coming by. Then I thought, am I supposed to go to New Jersey, Lord? What are you saying? And I saw a rainbow painted above the New Jersey, okay? Rainbow is God's covenant with us, with true believers in Christ, the 144K, saints of the Most High, the true Israelites. 
That has been our covenant. I've had many awesome revelations with a rainbow, which I'll get in and I'm trying to make this under 20 minutes. Wrap it up. And uh, we'll just keep it at 30 because somebody said, you always say 20 and you go an hour. I'm sorry. I talk a lot. Time goes away from me. I, I never even worn a watch because I it either breaks or I, I just can't stand it. We're not limited by time in the new, y'all. So that's why a lot of us uh, that are here on this channel that resonate with us, angels, angels sent back in this final hour to wake up people and save the lost, save souls for Jesus, slay the fallen, kick their aces, heal the sick, cast out demons. That's what we're here for, y'all. And we are being anointed for this crucial end time battle. But we don't pay attention to time. Time is on my side. Wow. That was a song in that movie Fallen with Denzel Washington, which is a movie. He's a targeted individual, empowered individual in the movie. And Satan's demons are popping into different people like they're doing here, y'all. And I got some crazy things to tell y'all about some major attacks that happened the other day with demons jumping into my neighbors. And yes, I got one on video for y'all, but that's not in this video. This will be later. I'll come back on later today, God willing, that I'm able to get back online. Okay, so focus, focus, focus factor. So I see the rainbow on the side of the truck and New Jersey on the side. And I said, are you telling me to go to New Jersey? <laughs> I really didn't know because it was so obvious it was Father speaking. And again, it said, low decks make your moving easier. Okay, so Sis, after I see the New Jersey, I text Sis Karen again and I said, what is New Jersey trying to tell? I knew new meant like a new beginning or it could mean in the new, and Sis Karen confirmed new means in the new. But she also confirmed something that I didn't even realize. And it's in your face. Jersey means new garment. We're getting our new garments. Our clean white linens for the wedding. Low, in the new. Low, like low decks, means this is praise to Sis Karen's revelation, okay? Her discernment in this. She got that low decks means you must be humbled, brought low, to be decked in gold garments. Is this not amazing? And guess what I got? Saints are about to be on deck, y'all. Yes. So uh, something's going to go down in New Jersey, though, I believe. I've also been being shown Philly, Philadelphia. I had no clue. This is how un, uh, what do you call it? I'm not that good with like the United States, map of the United States. Never cared about school. Usually went to sleep, talked, drew, played around. I even made clay, like sculptures in class. I was always getting in trouble. Not so loud. But, um, so I'll send, or send y'all. I'll show y'all. This picture, if I can get it on here. Okay, that we're about to go up. So, talk amongst yourselves. I've got so much to talk about, I'm trying to just focus on a couple of things. So the confirmation on the 22nd again happened the other day. This is the second time. I told you about it once, maybe. I think I did. I'm not sure. But I walked by this place and I was asking Father, am I, am I hearing you correctly? Am I supposed to remain in place? And I see this sign. This is only the second time I've seen this and it was a few days before and I didn't get a picture of it because my phone wouldn't work again. This was, the sign wasn't here a month ago on path. It's the side of some bank or some, I don't even know what it is. I never go down this road. Right after that, immediately after that, I see this sign. Number 22. This is not a regular sign. 
This sign was put there for some function for the, I guess for the holidays. But as I turn to go into the parking lot to get a picture of it for y'all, look who rolls up. First, they stalk me, y'all. NOPD and the cops stalk me. Military stalks me wherever I go. I can never get pictures of it. A lot of times I'm not even led to take the pictures because it happens so frequently. But every once in a while, if they're blatantly stalking me, I'll try to take a picture. Either the camera doesn't work or I go back to show y'all and it's disappeared off the phone. So the fact I'm able to get these things on video or on camera now shows that our time is almost done, son. We're about to be called up. But he appears right as I'm rounding the corner. And then multiple stalkers came out of nowhere. It's like they're coming from a, a portal or something. I don't know. But that's the 22 right immediately after. I saw it to the right on path. And to the left, number 22. Here's a close-up of it. You can see that this is a temporary parking space. So two, one, two, 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 I keep being shown. Okay, then I went out where they are digging up the sidewalk, only in front of my block. Um, I also was led to this the same day. This happened a few days ago, but because of the horrendous attacks, hadn't been able to get online in a couple days. Overcoming by the blood of the cross, Thank y'all for your prayers again. And I see this. This is uh, where the workers left tools outside. Now I want y'all to see right there. This right here. This is where they're leaving tools where they're tearing up the gas line. Now I'll show y'all an up close of what the number actually is. Spray painted on the sidewalk. 747, y'all. We jet. Sis Karen and I have been getting 747 since I lived on my boat. Name of my boat was Amazing Grace. It was a little tiny sailboat. And yes, they stole that too. But praise the Lord. They didn't, they might have sunk it, but they didn't sink my spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's funny. I never thought of that till just now. Also en route, right before I saw the on path, this all happened within a half a block, was this. It, I saw the, the house and I thought, oh, how pretty. And then I looked at the statue. It's an angel wing, y'all. It looks creepy, though. It looks like a fallen angel. Fallen angel signs are everywhere, y'all. They are here. The fallen are here, and they're attacking the saints. Okay, so... Let's see what else. This was also the same day that that happened. Y'all can't really see it, but it, it does say December 19th. It was after that other video I made where I'm being a clown. But look at it. It's a mountain. This is my screensaver on my... They, they change on their own. This is a mountain with red skies and water. So that's the island, mountain, red skies at night. And I've been seeing red skies at night and in the morning, like every day now. Very, very not normal. Okay, also I was led to realize that the Saints, New Orleans Saints, where I'm at, and that's not a coincidence either, I don't believe. The New Orleans Saints are playing the Titans, I think tomorrow. What are titans? They're giants. Nephilim, the fallen angels. Saints against the fallen angels on 12-22. There's the number again. And we have Philadelphia Eagles battling the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is also not a coincidence. Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. Eagles against stealers get it they steal lie steal and destroy what does satan do new york is gonna jet the new york jets all right um i may not have got those games right i know the saints against the titans it's just very strange eagles could represent america as an eagle in philadelphia maybe they're gonna pull something at the game y'all thank you father 
I just put that together live on Lena TV. Actually, it's on Angel Airwaves because this isn't my channel. This is Jesus' channel. It's the Most High's channel. We'll just call it Angel Airwaves, okay? Team Jesus. Okay, so I've been shown that. Um, again, the solar eclipse is also going to fall on the new moon Christmas night through the 26th. What is a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse is different than a lunar eclipse. It's where this is the sun, okay? And now I'm not doing a Illuminati freak symbol. So here's the sun, and this is the moon. The moon goes in between the sun. Here's the sun. We'll do it like this. And blocks the sun. And it makes a crescent. And it reminds me of the crescent that they use in, um, I think it's Iran or somewhere, in Muslim states, where you see this crescent moon with a star over it. The Lord says in the final days, he's going to give signs in the sun, moon, and stars. The sun will not shine its light. Wow. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I just got that. It, it helps when I talk it out sometimes, y'all. So thank y'all because... I appreciate that y'all, a lot of y'all said y'all helped, or I helped y'all, y'all helped me too. Not only financially, spiritually with prayers, but also sorting things out. Because when I come on, because I have nobody around me other than little beignet, I'm grateful for her so, so much. She is such a little warrior because she takes a lot of it too, y'all, our pets do. But um, they get their little crowns. But I come on and I talk about things and it helps me release any kind of you know, if I'm starting to feel angry or I'm discouraged or just trying to figure things out. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Talk about yourselves. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and I'm discouraged or whatever. Y'all lift me up. I had a few people come on and uh, they said they won't be supporting me or my channel. And that one guy actually said that I'm blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Well, I don't know how he thought I was blaspheming because I love the Most High. I love Jesus. I would never, ever do that. And I never have and I never will. But I believe that it was a satanic attack. And... But it was discouraging that I had two really mean things said to me. I always have mean things, but these were like, a, these were jabs. You can say whatever you want, make fun of me, call me crazy, whatever, but don't accuse me of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. So I was kind of discouraged by that. And it came the same day that Sis Karen and I had major, major attacks from Satan. So I believe that when, that's what Satan does. I don't believe. I know. The Lord showed me that when we're already feeling down and we're not getting any sleep from all these attacks and just the, the witchcraft that's being sent, that's when he's going to really move in for the kill. He hits us from every side. He doesn't do it as much when we're like really strong and we're, you know, we're not having as many attacks when we're like exhausted that's when he comes in for the one-two punch, right? So we have to know our enemy and the tactics of our enemy. And I knew it was Satan. Oh, Lucy at it again. Loser Lucy. You're going into the pit, loser Lucy, and all your minions. So I was in major warfare and uh, was led uh, just to stay in prayer. And um, just some other things Father showed me, which are kind of private. And uh, so I apologize. I wasn't able to come back on day before yesterday after this warfare had let up a little bit. And just the nonstop noise campaigns outside with the jackhammers turn up the sidewalk under my, under my balcony, along with leaf blowers and uh, a bunch of minions in the neighborhood that have all come against me all at once which they're being used by demons. I realize that. So it's not the people we battle. It's principalities, powers, rulers of darkness in the unseen world, spiritual wickedness in high places, y'all. So just realize that 
and pray for the people that actually still have their souls that aren't soulless beings, demons. And a lot of these people, especially I've been shown for the 144K, we are being attacked specifically by the high up fallen angels. So just be aware of that, that um, we're to pray for those that still have their souls. And you'll be led if you have discernment, you'll be led on who's who. Um, if you don't have discernment, ask Father. Ask him 10 times a day. He wants you to come to him and ask him, talk to him like a best friend because he is our best friend. Ask him, tell him what's on your mind. Go to him for answers. We're not to go to men, men for answers or women or pets. <laughs> We're to seek the most high. He gives us the answers. Now, other believers in Christ that you know that you've been confirmed by most high are believers in Christ. They can, use, they can be used as confirmation, but we're not to seek them for answers first. Now, you'll probably be saying, well, Lena, you just said that you asked this Karen about the revelation, about the meaning of um, low deck to make your mo moving easier. Yes, I did ask for her revelation, but I was already going to the Lord before I ever even looked at her answer for confirmation and answers. He can give us a thumbs up on things, okay? So that's what I mean by that. We can always ask like for discernment or help. If you know, if you know somebody has that gift, and there's very few of us out there, so y'all are blessed that have discernment in things. And some have a gift of prophecy. Some have the gift of, like I have the gift of prophecy in dreams. Some have the gift of prophecy in visions. You know, I've had a few visions, but mine are mostly dreams, and I believe that's why they mess with my sleep so much. But praise the Lord, he's coming through loud and clear. But we all have certain gifts that we're anointed in, okay? So anyway, wrote a song about it, like to hear it, here go. Okay, we also have Hanukkah, which is, which is the Hebrew celebration instead of the fake ace Christmas. You know, Satan and the, the pagan religions mock Jesus. They take everything that God meant for good and they turn it upside down. Just so you know, Christmas is a pagan holiday. I realize that everybody on my channel is very aware. But if there's someone new that doesn't know, it is a pagan holiday. I don't celebrate it. But anyway, the Hebrew holiday that falls in or coincides with Christmas, which they... The witches did that on purpose. Satan and his minions. Starts the 23rd of December and goes through the 30th. And I just wanted to tell y'all a little bit about Hanukkah. If y'all don't understand it. Hanukkah actually literally means the festival of rededication in Hebrew. It's also the festival of lights. What are we? Angels. Saints. We're a light unto the world. A light in the darkness. That's why they put up the Christmas lights and the lights on the trees and all that. And they light their candles. Anyway, the, what it is in Israel, in, in Hebrew, they celebrate the rededication of the second temple in Jerusalem. When the Jews rose up against the Greek Syrians who were oppressing them in the Maccabean revolt, they had victory. The Maccabees overcame the Greek and the Syrians, okay? Also, this is really cool. A miracle happened on that same day. What they do is they have a menorah. I know most of y'all know what this is, but it's, uh, I think it's got, I know it does. It has nine candles on this candlestick. So it's a candlestick. Let me see if I can draw it. I know most of y'all know what this is, but in case you don't, let me just draw it real quick. Real quick. Sorry, <laughs> I should have already had this.
Okay, sorry about the scribble scrabble. I usually can draw pretty good, but I'm just trying to hurry. I already see it's, yes, it's going to go over. Sorry, uh, time watchers that are on this channel timing me. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Sub not that crumbly. Okay, and the one, the stick at the end that's taller at the very end, that's the one they light it with. And then there's eight other candles all on this candlestick. And back when this happened, when the, Jew, the Jews, the true Hebrews, the Israelites, I should say, the Israelites, were celebrating the miracle that they overcame the Greek Syrians, right? Because the Greek Syrians were way stronger. But God is way stronger. So he, he did it. He was with his people. Just like he's with us, y'all. All of these people, workers of iniquity, and gets one true empowered individual. That's the power of our father. Anyway, during the same time that they were celebrating the rededicating of the temple, they have the menorah in the temple. And it's supposed to be, or, sorry, it's supposed to stay lit for eight days during the celebration, which like I said, this year is December 23rd through the 30th. I think it changes every year. My bad if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm doing my best, y'all. Anyway, um, it ran out of oil. They, they only had enough oil for one day. They didn't know what to do. But this, the supply of oil was supernaturally, I guess, continued to allow the menorah to stay lit for the full eight days when it should have only stayed lit one day. Isn't that amazing? Just like how Jesus turned the, uh, the loaves and the fish into feed, you know, multitude instead of just a handful. It's amazing what our God can do. He will feed us in the wilderness. He does. He's been doing it for me off and on for years. Actually, not off and on every day. Do viewers like y'all, and then before I even had this channel, and actually up until a year and a half into my channel, just if I had to sleep out in a bush or something, somehow I would be fed. Somehow something would come through for me. And that's the gift of the Most High. And these Satanists will go, ah, ha, ha, the loser. He's sleeping in the bushes while we've got our mansions. Our mansions are in heaven. I don't even care about a mansion. All I want to do is please the Lord and be considered worthy to rule and reign with Jesus, meaning go up and be in heaven and be invited to the supper, which we are invited, y'all. That's the gift. New Jersey, our New Jersey's in the new, but we have to be humble. And believe me, the Lord's been working on me with my big ace mouth. I'm telling you, that's a hard one. Um, thank you to Sister Francine. Thank you so much for your suggestion. I haven't been able to respond yet because I was led to put this video out, but I just saw she said um, to send peace when all the stalkers are doing their loud noise campaigns. She said it may take a few days, but to start saying for all these people that are coming against me, I can't, I'm sorry, uh, I apologize. I'm not saying exactly, but it, the gist of it was that when they're doing their loud noise campaigns say, I send all these workers that are harassing and making all this loud noise, I command them to leave in Jesus' name, and I send peace to them and peace around me in Jesus' name. And I tried it. Um, I just read that today, so they actually were not working today, but there was a couple other things going on, and it did subside, so praise the Lord. So. But they weren't like the hardcore noise campaign. So we'll, we'll try that out, sister, when they come back. I believe that the Lord made it rain today because I really was praying, please, Lord, I have to get some sleep. Praise the Lord. And I believe rain is a cleansing. It cleanses things. Okay, so that's about all for now. I'm going to come back and show you all just document some crazy things that went on with the stocking. Again, the port cities I've been showed, Pensacola, New Orleans, where I live, St. Lucie, Florida, interestingly enough, it's called St. Lucie, um, Galt, California, 
They surround lower America, okay? So these are key points that they'll be taking out. Again, we have the solar eclipse. We have the winter solstice. And we got the jackhammers. Please, Hammer, don't hurt them. Um, we are on high alert with a satanic revelry going on. Pray against the workers of iniquity and send those curses back, y'all. We're not to send curses, but we're not to accept curses. And the Lord has confirmed this, that this is his will to send the curses the witches are sending on us as believers in Christ back to sender. But also pray for them to wake up. Because you know what? When these curses come back on their races, they might go, wow, their God did that? And I've been told uh, by several people, and I saw a documentary of the Satanist that had given his life to the Lord. I think his name is George somebody. Again, I wasn't planning on talking about this, but the Holy Spirit is moving me to talk about this. He said that when he would go and specifically they were sent as Satanists to go and send curses and astral travel to believers in Christ, specifically targeting Christians. Okay. He said that most Christians they could affect and harm, but he said, because basically they're just uh, walking the walk. They're not living it. They're go to they're the church going ones that don't live it. They're not truly seeking the Lord. But he said there was a few where he would actually astral travel to their neighborhood to try to put curses and kill them. And he said that there would be like a protection, a wall of white protection around them and he couldn't get through. And that's the power of the Holy Spirit. This stuff is real, y'all. And some of us have been blessed to see into the or see through the veil. The veil is about to be lifted. 2020 means perfect vision. Men's hearts will fail them for fear. Those that did not know Jesus that are on this channel, please accept him. He is real. He is the truth and the light. No one comes to the Father except through the Son. Is real. Is real. That's not a coincidence either. Jesus is on his way back, y'all. We're about to go up. 747 and I'm out.